This generator looks a little bit more complicated with more pieces getting everything to work. It still has this plastic base, which holds everything together. It has a copper coil here. The wire is pretty thin, but um, not as thin as some of the other generators. And there's a fair amount of it. And it's on this white plastic piece, which helps hold the copper coil in the right shape. It looks like each end of the copper coil is attached to a little piece of copper down here at the base. There's two of them, one for each end. And that piece of copper touches these metal arms here. And these metal arms then are connected on the other side to the LED lights. So the copper coil is still connected to the LED lights, just in a little bit more complicated of way. This blue and red arch over the top, it holds a pair of magnets. Um, they're right here. Here's one. Here's the other. And these magnets are pretty large, but um, they're not super strong for their size. Um, they're pulling my screwdriver a little bit, but... It would, it's kind of barely moves this plastic piece. Now to get the generator to work, you need to spin this copper coil and you do that using this pulley here. And what the pulley does is it helps you spin the copper coil really fast because for every one turn of this um, pulley, we get many turns of the copper coil. So when I spin this, that copper coil really starts to spin pretty fast. And once you get it spinning, um, you start to light the LED. So this generator is wired so that depending on which way you turn it, the different LEDs light up. So if I go this way, I can get the green to flash. And if I go this way, the red will flash.